you know, I really need to discuss this and get this off my chest. So pour some maple syrup on my chest, pop in a blue chew, and let's just dive on into this, shall we? You can tell it's sunny out because I'm actually recording during the day and not at night. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1200 ladder. I wonder how many people are going to be coming in from Zodiac Duels to watch this video because I'm going to be posting this in Zodiac Duels. So for anyone that sees this on Zodiac, hey, the one that's posting this video in that group, it's, it's me. I think a lot of people don't realize that my Facebook profile is me. So then they see this YouTube video and they're like, this guy sucks. I'm like, well, it's me that posted the video. Anyway, hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and all that good stuff. I wanted to talk about, does Yu-Gi-Oh need a break? Specifically, do I need a break from the game? Does Yu-Gi-Oh in general just like, I don't know, need to freaking change? <sighs> the reason why that I bring this up is because I went to uh, one of the locals here in my area. There's a few different ones here in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, they were doing what was called a trophy tournament. It was an OTS tournament, but they had like these OTS trophies, like first, second, and third. And I was like, you know what? The, the, the trophy would be a nice piece on my desk. You know, it looks nice. It's got red eyes on it. Like it's, it's looking sexy. You know, it's, it's looking like your boy on the beach. It's looking sexy. <laughs> and I ended up finishing sixth. Top eight, which out of 16 people, I guess isn't terrible. It's not first place. And something that I think, especially if you're new to the channel, you should know about me, is that I get very passionate about this game. And by very passionate, I can also I, I mean by that that I can also get really freaking pissed. Like to the point where I will sometimes need to excuse myself so I can like leave the venue so I don't punch a hole in the wall. Like that's how pissed off I get, ladies and gentlemen. Like it's I don't know if you'd call it an anger issue or just a personal issue, whatever, but like the, the things that piss me off in this game are usually things that are you possibly out of my control. I say possibly because like if I feel that my opponent is slow playing me or stacking me, that's not really in my control because I could call a judge and the judge could rule in my opponent's favor and then I look like the jackass. Uh, you know, not drawing good cards, like that's variance at that point. Like... And that was the other weird thing about locals the other night. And I don't mean to go on a rant about locals, but it's the whole point that I'm trying to make here. Every single game one that I played, it was four rounds. So all four game ones, the hands that I opened, they weren't terrible, but like they weren't super busted. Like they were just kind of somewhere in the middle, like really mediocre. And I'm just like, this deck is like, is this deck actually dog shit? Like we're playing Sprite purely. I've got my invite with this deck. It's only 41 cards. I dropped it down from the 44. I'm like, do I just like... Am I playing a really garbage deck? Like, I know it catches people off guard. I know how to play this deck. I know that I'm a good player, but this is like where the rage in me takes over because I come in sixth place. I lose game three in the last round of Sword Soul. And it was against a buddy of mine. Like, he and I are cool. It's not a big deal. We always have great matches. Um, but had I not signed out one copy of Nimble Angler, I would have won that game. I, you know, could have made sprint, dump the angler, get for, you know, go for two beavers, make a plump, sit on it, make a fat ass noir on the next turn. He would have only had tie A, you know, like it, it wouldn't have matter. I would have had the bouncing interruption with sprint. His asshole would have just been destroyed. And I, I don't say that to like make fun of my friend. I say it in the point of me being the competitive player I am, playing this game since 2008, two weeks after the name Fusion Deck got changed to Extra Deck. I'm very passionate about this game. I'm very, I'm very much in the mindset of, especially because I've been playing this game for so long and I know that I'm a good player. I don't mean to make it sound like I have a big ego. It's just when I walk into an event, whether it's a regional, what have you, I am already thinking I am one of the better players in this room at the very least. Am I a Jeremy Mitchell who won nationals? No, I'm not. Like I understand that there are just players who are going to be on the higher echelons than I ever will be. And that's okay. We're all different in that regard. But like when I was younger, I used to like go into a regional and like if I looked at the opponent's name that I was playing against, uh, for example, let's let's say I'm playing against Pack. 
I would look at Pac's name as like a 14 year old kid and I'd be like, oh my God, I'm playing against Pac. Like he's a YouTuber. He's got 30 plus thousand subscribers. Now I'm like, who gives a shit that I'm playing Pac? He might brick. Like he's a human being like me. Like screw Pac. Like I'm going to sit down. I'm going to play my Sprite purely and I'm going to try and whoop his ass. Like I don't care that you have 30,000 plus subscribers. Let's go, bro. Like put your money where your mouth is. Like that. that's how I see it. I never go into an event now where I'm like, oh my God, I'm playing against so-and-so. My butthole is going to get destroyed and I'm going to get kicked out of the venue. Like, no, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to say, look, I know I'm a good player. I know what I'm capable of. I know what my cards do. As long as they're not playing something like Nuvella's Hungry Burger crap, where I just don't know where anything does and I got to read everything. Or like Vanquish Soul last night at Locals. I didn't know what his crap did. And I lost a game because of it. And luckily I was able to come out and win at the end. Um, I, I know that I'm going to beat you. Like my mindset is, I know that I can beat you. I, I don't care how many accolades you got. You can brick like any other player in this room. I'm going to do what I can to beat you with all, within the fair means of the game. Like obviously not trying to cheat you. Like how I did the vanquish soul player last night by mistake. I had a purely Lily up and I used the effect to summon beauty thinking, oh, I still only have one fairy up. You can't do that, Pim. I had a nimble beaver and sprite right in my hand, so it didn't really matter. But besides the point, I felt bad because then I felt like I cheated the guy. So I didn't realize that till the match was done. So he still conceded, but I just, it made me feel bad because like I don't ever want to cheat people, right? Like I want to win legitimately. I don't want the, uh, not facade, but I don't want people thinking, oh, he's actually garbage at the game because he cheats. No, I'm good at this game. Like I'm not sitting here like Robbie Cole saying, <laughs> like he did with his, uh, we've had a couple drinks. Can you tell? Like in his freaking volcanic video from yesterday where he's like, <laughs> you want to dump scatter shot to the graveyard so that you can clear the board and proceed to progress the game state. Like this man don't eat salads and he's making word salads out here like Chef Boyardee up in this bitch, like scooping the bowl and shit. And I'm just like, what does that even mean? Like what? Oh my lord, add some sustenance, add some salt to that bitch, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, the point that I'm making with this is like, am I getting so pissed off not coming in first place and like coming in sixth place at a locals that I feel I should just be dominating? Does this mean that like I need to take a break from the game? I'm very much tired of this format. I don't care what the fuck anybody says. This format is toxic as shit with King Calamity shoving its giant horns up people's butts and Cash Tira basically still being at full power. I don't think anybody can argue with that crap. And like just the format basically still being the same. I'm hoping that we get a ban list after Worlds, but God knows when that's going to happen because we're probably not going to get a ban list to like September, possibly even October after Age of Overlord drops in like the middle of the month. So like, I don't know if this is coming from a point of like, look, Avery, you need to take a break. You've got three regionals back to back to back coming up. Just take a chill pill. I know subconsciously I'm tired of playing Sprite purely. Like I really want to play other stuff. Like I want to mess around with Nuvelas. I want to mess around with the Synchron stuff, but like, I feel like I can't because I need to keep playtesting Sprite purely, making sure I know my combos, making sure I'm not making mistakes, making sure that I can be the best player I can be. And it's not just in Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, with my Von Hippelindau disease, which is the rare type of cancer that I have, ever since my diagnosis, I've always thought to myself, I want to be the best person that I can be in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! and outside of the duel, so to speak. And to me, whenever I have these, what I'm gonna call lackluster performances, that's what she said. <laughs> when I have these lackluster performances, it makes me think like, am I losing my touch? Because I don't feel like I am, and at the same time, sometimes shit is just out of your control. I played against Goaty at Locals, and I get that it's Locals, but, like, I don't know what the Goaty crap cards do, because Goaty is, like, booty, booty, butt cheeks on our tier list. Nobody, nobody's playing Goaty that's actually trying to be competitive at this game. It's garbage. You, if you go to a regional with Goaty, you're going to be at table 500. And again, I get that it's Locals, but I don't side deck just for Locals. I don't meta call for Locals, because, like, that's just cringe. I feel like you're trying too hard at that point, unless you're going to someplace like Oblivion Games in Tampa, where you kind of have to do that because everybody and their mother is even more try hard at the game than I am and it's just toxic uh, but it's like 
it, it, it makes me think like, do I just need to like take a break from the game? Do I need to focus on more like casual content? Because we are a competitive channel. I think majority of my audience realizes that. Some don't, especially with like the structure that videos, they say, oh, well, it's a fun deck to play. And then it's like, you, you don't know what you're talking about. This is a competitive channel, like like go away, sugar bear. You don't know what you're talking about. It's, it's garbage. Um, side note, the Jack Atlas structure deck is still garbage. I don't care what anyone says. There's no good reprints in it. It's dog water. Besides the point, I, I want to go into a regional knowing in my heart of hearts that I'm one of the better players in this room and I don't care who's there. I don't care if Kamal Crooks is there. I don't care if Jeremy Mitchell's there. I don't care if Jesse Cotton is there, Pack, whoever. I'm going to play as if they're a normal player that I don't know who the heck they are. I'm going to treat them with respect, obviously. I'm not going to be a dick like I've seen other players be in the past because I've experienced that firsthand. Little side note on that. You know, I remember going to a locals in uh, the St. Augustine area, if you're familiar with that part of Florida. And allegedly, allegedly, there was a dude there at the card shop who called this kid a homophobic slur that may or may not have began with the letter F. Uh, and told him that he sucked at Yu-Gi-Oh! And then the kid went home crying that day and never came back to the card shop. Haven't seen that kid since. And I never want to be that kind of person. Never, 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 never. You know, people say that Yu-Gi-Oh! is toxic, and I feel like it's gotten less toxic over the years because ass munchers like that are no longer in the game. At the same time, I don't want to go into an event not having the confidence that I feel that I rightfully have because of the fact I've played for years and there is a clear correlation that I've gotten better over time, whether it's been my deck building, whether it's been because I'm consistently getting my invite more. Sure, I haven't topped a regional. That's the next goal that we have. And I could have gotten it at the last Boca Regional if I played my hand a little bit better, but that's all besides the point. You know, it's in the past. You got to learn from it and move on and be better in the future. But to to just like get so aggravated to the point where like I got to walk out of the card shop so I don't punch a hole in the wall and get banned. Like I love this game. And at the same time, it feels like uh, I'm jaded because it's like as much as I love the game, it's at times like this where I'm like, am I losing my touch? Is the game moving past me? And I don't want that to be the case because I've made a lot of great memories in this game, whether it's been playing with my dad or making friends along the way that I still keep in contact with to this day, whether it's because they play the game or not. I want to continuously get better in this game, both in the duel and outside of the duel, just being a better person in life. And not getting that first place trophy definitely sucked when I felt like I deserve it. I earned it. I'm kicking butt left and right. I'm trying to make sure this video gets in the algorithm if you can't tell. I'm kicking butt in the game left and right. That first place trophy should just already have my name on it. So guys, let me know in the comments below. I hope I didn't come off like I have a big ego. It's just, it's the point that I'm trying to make. You know, there are, there are plenty of times where like I've seen idiotic YouTube comments where I'm like, bro, I'll pay you a thousand dollars if you top with this dog water deck. And guess what? Nobody ever tops with the deck because it's, it's dog crap. You know, that's, that's just another thing. Maybe that's just my ego getting in the way, but I want to constantly improve at this game and get better. Let me know down in the comments. Do I just need to take a step back and just take a chill pill? Am I on the right track? I, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.